We've been coming up to Western Massachusetts since I'm a very small child. During the summers, my father rented a little cabin on Lake Buell. So I have very early and very powerful memories of coming up here. I've always returned here not only to make pictures, but also in sort of transitional parts of my life. There was a period of time earlier in my life where I continued to try to make the pictures I was making previously, and I just couldn't do it. I was like going through a crisis point in the work. I wound up coming back to this cabin again. I just started making dirt piles in the backyard of this cabin. I would just like dig up dirt, make a little pile, photograph it. When you're in a kind of crisis point, you just try these different things. Eventually, those pictures slowly became my first tableaus. Those pictures were very influenced by museum dioramas. I had just started getting some attention, just starting to have shows and things. But my first marriage started falling apart, actually. And so I wasn't conscious of it at the time, but you look at some of these last pictures I made in this series, they're very repulsive and grotesque. And I think that all reflected my state of mind. And I was starting to have these weird dreams of floating, floating dreams. This is like a kind of common anxiety dream. I kept thinking it would be really interesting to do a series of pictures from an elevated point of view. Uh, I couldn't get that out of my mind. And I started thinking, well, it would be interesting if we could make some kind of interventions into the street. And we did these pictures with no permits, no permission. No one seemed to care or even be interested. There's one picture that I called down to my assistant. I said, call 911 and tell them there's someone sodding the street clothes. And that's how we got that police car to come in 